Bounty Select, a two pack, $1,074. Half a gallon of orange juice, a container of spinach, noodles in the bowl, bananas, garlic, Bananas are two thirty-eight. Doritos, $849. What is this? Another bag of bowl of noodles. One bar of Dove soap. Sunshine snacks, which would be this. For $421. All right. So we have some paper towels. Two half a gallons of juice. Two containers of spinach. One, two. A bowl of noodles. A few bananas. Very few bananas, as you can see. And those bananas were still $646. Garlic, dollar twenty-one. Green bananas. Um, we got the Doritos again. We have the ginger. Some more almonds here, four hundred twenty-one dollars. Uh, scrubber. Noodles again. I Dove soap. We got a ting, two hundred thirty-one dollars. A freaking watermelon. Not even a big watermelon, okay? So let's get back to the grocery list that people say Jamaican groceries are just much cheaper to live in Jamaica. And then we're talking about noodles again, and then we're talking about a couple bags of almonds here, and these are almonds. And then we're talking about a six pack of Dragon Stout for $1,000 plus a deposit, 20 cents per bottle. And then we have some Red Stripe, which would be the Oh no, that's, that's the, the deposit on that, my bad. And then we have another beverage, alcoholic beverage, $864. Then we have some okra, and then we have some cheap laundry detergent for $1,400. This gives me a total bill of $16,569. How's that work out, guys? And we don't have, oh, we do have a pack of meat here. We have one pack of meat right here. Some chicken pieces at $8.64. One pack of meat, two packs, six packs of beer, uh, six bags of almonds, two packs of noodles, one bar of soap, um, a half a, what is it, a two liter of ting, Doritos, bananas, some garlic, more bananas, and that's it. Not even a full freaking grocery bill. And here we are again, okay? This is what my freezer looks like after I put $115,000 worth of groceries in there. Okay, then I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys know that that comes out to approximately maybe 11, 12, about 11, uh, $110, $112. And I'm probably off a little bit, but this is for those who say it's so much cheaper in Jamaica and you can live for pennies and buy you a house for a couple thousand dollars. Um, if you're coming from the States and you're ready to come off the grid, that might be possible. But if you're coming from the States and you are coming to live a normal life that you're used to, expect something like this, okay? Something like this.